yeah <coughs> on this video i'll be showing you all the features enabled on this dashboard which is administrative dashboard and uh, i'll be talking briefly about each of them before we go deep into each of them one after the other all right so immediately after the login into the administrative accounts dashboard you are landed right here and uh, the very first thing you see at the top right left corner is the logo which happens to be the school logo actually this account comes with the first logo which is just track logo and uh, at the end of this video you will get to know how you can change it to your own school logo all right and the next is uh, we have this icon which means you can minimize all this feature right here if you don't want to keep seeing them like you only want to work with this panel you can actually click on it to hide them and it will only show their icons which means you can always over them to see what who they are or what they do as well and you can also click on them to navigate to another page all right for you to see them again you can either click on this to show them again right here and at the top right here it's showing the super admin dashboard simply means that you are on the most powerful dashboard like this is where you have overall control on the school on this just track school management system with this dashboard you can do everything you can add you can remove you can manipulate you can edit you can do everything on the portal all right and that's about that and right here it's showing important notice notice which means all the links right below this important notice are very important it's telling you that for you to log into each different dashboard in your school right from the school owner the admins the teachers the staffs and the students and parents is telling you that all these links are very important you have to take note of them and they should be given out appropriately like to whosoever that you have access to different accounts as well all right so the very first one we have then uh, services.justrack.com and if you could remember on the previous video this is what we type in on the web browser address for us to open the page the gateway to where we can log into this administrative dashboard all right and the next is then uh, we have features dashboard which means all your school teachers can actually go to this link it says www.itis.justrack.com all your school teachers can actually open this link to have a page where they can log into their account individually all right and the next we have staff's dashboard to access staff dashboard you have to go to staff.justrack.com which means either teaching staff or non-teaching staffs you can actually give them this link as long as they have login access to this platform you give them this link for them to log in it could be the librarian it could be a secretary accountant or registrar i'm going to show you how to register all these people later on all right and the next is and um, we have parents and uh, student dashboard which means then um, both parents and students they have different login as well and they can now go to www.parent.justrack.com for them to access their accounts as well notes all these accounts they have different privileges which means if you are a teaching staff you cannot log in to non-teaching staff's accounts if you are a student or parents you cannot log in to teachers accounts or to the school owners the admins accounts. no it's not possible that's why we've differentiated all this individually all right and uh, when you look at the left hand side we have an um, the school name as well we have the school name right here under the logo we have spontaneous college which is, which happens to be my school name and right here this is the school id that i entered to log into this dashboard if you could remember 9411 that's my unique school id it's in SID that school id and the thirdly we have a secondary school which is the school type i selected to log into and right here it's showing the branch i log into and underneath we have a uh, home we have a lot we have administrator we have students we have teachers we are staffs we have subjects we have tuition fee we have a uh, calendar stars attendance average marks auto comments auto signature school stamped then we have logo we have a uh, school events 
we actually have search engine and the other setting and right below it we also have cbt uh, under the add-ons we have an uh, online library we have free websites we have online lecture we have book sms and also online payments the next is sign out note after working with this dashboard and you are done with whatever you want to do always come here to log out your account you have to sign out so that nobody can come in to work on your account without your permission and uh, for security purpose uh, this software has been made in, in this in a way that if you are hidden for a couple of minutes let's assume you are hidden for like 15 10 minutes 20 minutes automatically when you want to do anything on it without logging out it will automatically log you out and tell you to re-enter your login information that's for security reason so that we have to be sure that you are the right owner of the account all right that's about that and all these features right here showing by the left hand side panel right here they are the same as what we have right here we have the home which is where we have right now and we have school admins which is the same as this administrator we have school profile we have registered student which is red students we have it right here under red red students and we also have all students which is the same once you click on this all students you okay you can see now we have all students and we have our students which is the same as this and this we have red teacher or staffs we have all teachers and staffs as well we have subject which is the same as this we have an uh, intuition fee we have calendar we have staff attendance we have enable scratch card we have um uh, an average miles we have auto comments signature school stamped logo school logo create events search engine setup and uh, under the add-ons just like i show you right here we have a uh, cbt we have online library free websites online lectures and uh, sms book sms does, and we have online payments quick one let me quick quick tell you how it works this is the home page this is where we are right now we have nothing much to do right here and uh, we have school admin right here this is where you click to register more admins to your school for example you want to register somebody to be a secretary or accountant registrar or a sub admin to your school you only have to click on this page this link once you click on it it will show you where to you just complete the form but before you do this you have to register staff to your school then from the drop down button that will be showing on this page you cannot select whosoever you want to assign to be a school admin all right that's about that and all this under this school profile you can actually get to see the information you use to register and if there is any need to edit some of them you can actually do that as well then under this reg student this is where you register all your school students right from uh, the puppies and uh, point of registering them to the school and when the class changes like at the point of at the end of each session when the class changes automatically they will change the class will change for them appropriately and they will enter the new class that's how you this is where you register the students anyway when you have you have any whenever you have any new students coming into the school you just click on this page on this link to register them all right the next is uh, we have all students this is where you click to see the list of all students you have in your school like this like uh, overhead counts it will enlist all students you have in your school categorically by class like you can have like js1 js2 js3 ss1 ss2 ss3 individually so you have to click on each of them to see how many students in in each class individually all right and right here we have registered teacher this is where you register teachers both teaching staffs and non-teaching staffs once you click on this link it will open a page for you where you can register the teachers with all their information correctly all right and right there we have all teachers and staff under this link once you click on it we have you'll be able to see your active teachers and staffs and at the same time you have a sub link under it where you can see the deleted one not all the deleted one are not permanently deleted but temporarily should be in case you want to make reference back to them they are still there for you they are not permanently deleted but they will not have access to your school anymore immediately you click on delete button that's about that all right and next we have a uh, subject on this subject by default just try to come up with some default subject for different category of schools like 
secondary school they have a the first subject for them that comes with it primary school we have the first subject that comes with it in at the same time as nursery school as well we have the first subject that comes with it but nevertheless you can also click on it to manipulate like you can delete whichever that is not applicable to your school and if there is anyone that is applicable to your school which is not enlisted on the subject list you can actually click a button there to add new subjects or you click on edit to edit the default one to meet up your school standard all right that's good to go all right the next thing we have a tuition fee under this tuition fee you can set each class's tuition fee according to their classes like i mean yeah you can set for premium like basic one to six differently you can set for js differently you can set as in you can set everything and under it you can also see the list of students that have paid it's actually i think you can uh, this actually help you to manage your school account like when a student has have made payment or not you'll be able to see everything right from here all right that's good to go i'm still coming back to show you how it works one after the other all right so the next is school calendar this is where you get to set your school calendar like when all day is holiday is coming or there is any important events coming up you can set the calendar right here then you make it public for everybody to see that okay on this date this school is having so, so events coming up all right that's good to go as well and nice and the next one is that we have staff attendance all right instead of you keep telling somebody to sign in sign out on a plain paper on your secretary doorstep and every uh, every time doing that you don't have to do that anymore all you have to do is to open the click on this staff attendance then once it's open you have all your teachers all your registered teachers enlisted both teaching and not teaching staff you have them enlisted then you have just two buttons right there you have their check in time and check out just tick on each of them appropriately like when they are coming into the school just click on check in and once they are leaving click on check out the time and everything will be there right there for you to see at any time for you to make reference to back to them at any time all right i think that's good to go anyway all right and the next thing we have enable scratch card and this and the and we believe it's kind of a return on investments like monetary aspect of it like you can decide like okay if you want to start selling scratch cards to your puppies your students in the school for them to have access to just track and its future from your school all right you can once you click on it you'll be able to enable it then automatically you'll be able to generate scratch card according to your subscription all right that's good anyway and uh, next is uh, we have average mark this is where you set the average mark for your C ca test and your exam you have nothing to worry about just set them you can set a uh, ca test should be like 30 percent why exam should take 70 percent just set it from here you don't have anything to worry about automatically it will do the auto computation and it will calculate the student's average score and everything for you you don't have to keep thinking or racking your brain because you want to calculate students average scores you don't have to worry about that anymore and uh, right here we have an auto comments yeah uh, you don't have to keep commenting on each student report sheet or each student document anytime every time all you have to do is type in your comments and everything right here automatically it will be it will be written on their reports or whichever documents they they are asking for automatically you don't have to do this every time automatically it will be there that's good anyway and the same thing as signature you don't have to keep signing on every document anymore just sign your signature on the paper then you snap it with your phone or you scan it to your computer then you upload it automatically you don't you don't even have anything to worry about automatically your signature will be appended on every document you want it to be assigned to all right the same thing as school stamp stamp your lo school logo uh, stamp on your paper snap it or you scan it to a computer then you upload it automatically it will be appended to all documents as well all right we have school logo here this is where you change this your school logo like i was saying earlier this logo you it can be changed right from here once you click on it it will ask you to upload a logo you must have scanned or upload to your computer 
just select it and upload automatically this will change to your school logo all right and the next is create event you can actually create events right from here when any event is coming up it's something similar to school calendar but in a, a little bit different anyway but you work around it same as school calendar all right and also we have search engine which is we believe it's robot search engine which can help you to manage things faster like you'll be able to search and look for everything you need to do in your school with just a click of button just type in whatever you want to do like if you are let's assume you are looking for a student from any class you don't even know class where they are just type in their id or few of the students name like if you can remember the first or last name don't or last name don't worry the system will just suggest different school students students to you then you can select whichever you want to go for and the next we have a setup this is where you do some other setup which are not displaying right here you can click on this page on this link to see other setup you can set it for example you can set to have a online school online uh, admission form right from here you can set it from here and many other things your sports and every other thing you can set them from here all right so the next uh, we have add-ons add-ons under this add-ons we have cpt we have online library we have free websites online lecture sms and online payments you have to click on this cpt for you to activate it depend on the package you subscribe to anyway there are some packages that does not enable these features are not enabled on them they will be there but you won't be able to make use of them so this cbt once you click on it and you enable it automatically your teachers can now set cbt or your ict personnel can now manage your school cbt you can set computer based text or exam to your students you don't have to keep giving them paper to fill or to write on it let them work on the computer and see how exposed they are to the world of technology all right also we have online library and um, under this online library once you activate it at the same time the whosoever you set from here when you are setting the school admin you set you are assigned somebody to be a librarian once you activate this this person can now log in to upload books to your library and uh, once they are uploading books they have the right to assign some schools some books to be a free version and some can be a paid version once a book is a paid version nobody will be able to read it or download it unless they subscribe like they make payments to the school then they have a key to download the book and read at any time and as for the free version of the book they can actually go online to read to study or to add it to their own book as well all right that's good to grow and the next we have a free website under this free website um, you have to you actually have to contact the software company which is just a company if you want it to be enabled as you can see it said on request because there are some setup we need to get from you so which we believe you cannot manage by yourselves but after setting it up then we can give you a go ahead to manage and manipulate everything on it by yourself so it actually gives you an online presence like you can showcase your school you can promote your school online it gives you a standard website all right that's all about that and we have online online lectures which is the same as you can do this on request you have to contact the company as well to make requests like you want online lecture then we can actually set it up for you to work around it as well the same thing as book sms and the same thing as online payments all right so that will be all for now and uh, on the next video i'll be showing you how each of these features work one by one like i will be taking you through them one by one log clicking on them and show you how they look like and what you can actually achieve by going through them one by one all right once again i want to say thank you for watching and for listening i appreciate you all and by the time you watch the next video i believe you still have more benefits more advantage of it and uh i believe you will never regret working with just trust school management system thank you for now see you next time bye